So what are you wearing on your feet? We prefer flat-soled sneakers with good cushioning in the forefoot. You can try basketball shoes, tennis shoes, or even indoor soccer shoes. Those are all good choices. It's best to jump on a firm level surface like a wooden or carpeted floor, but you want to avoid soft, uneven surfaces like grass, or ultra-hard ones like this concrete floor. To size your rope, step on the middle of it with one foot and pull the handles straight up toward the ceiling. The top of the handles should come close to shoulder height. If your rope's too long, you can shorten it by tying knots near the handles. If your rope's too short, you'll need to get a longer rope. Stand with your shoulders relaxed and your knees soft. Keep your elbows in close to your ribs. Your feet should be together and your toes aligned. Your weight should be slightly forward and you want to be on the balls of your feet. When you jump, keep your legs close together and leave the ground only one to two inches. Land softly and quietly. Now grab both handles of the rope in one hand. Turn your wrist in a circular fashion so that the rope swings to your side and hits the ground in front of you. Listen, hit, hit, hit. Now add a jump, pushing off with the balls of your feet. Jump, jump, jump. Take one handle in each hand with your thumbs on top. Don't choke up too much. Start with the rope behind your calves. Use your arms to swing the rope over your head and try to catch it under your toes. Good. Cool, you're ready to jump through the rope. Just remember to keep your elbows into your ribs and your feet together. Turn the rope with your wrists, then jump. Remember, keep your jumps low and land very softly. So it's time to hit the slopes. We're going to go skiing. Jump side to side as if you're slaloming down the slopes. Now let's take it to the boxing ring. Gently hop on one foot, then the other, while shifting your hips side to side. Now look really mean. Okay, that's the alternating foot or boxer step. The scissor step is next. Alternate sliding your legs forward and backward, like a scissors. Try to keep your legs relatively straight. Okay, we're going to get a little fancy now. This one's called the arm cross. You'll need to bring your arms across your body about waist height so that the elbows are basically touching. Make sure your hands extend beyond your hips. Swing your arms down, not out. Be patient. Don't worry if you miss. Let's try that a couple more times. And remember, you need to uncross your arms as the rope passes around the second time. So for an added challenge, you can try these variations. Jumping while turning the rope backwards or towards your heels. Jumping while moving forwards. Jumping while moving backwards. Jumping while moving to your left or to your right. And jumping while moving in a circle or in rotation. During the workout, you'll see a variety of rope jumping steps, but always feel free to stick with the basic balance. If you get tangled up, you can also follow along while swinging your rope to the side, or you can just put your rope down altogether. Now crank up the volume and get ready to jump. 